Hey, it's Teapak, and I'm back in Hate Plus. And we left off needing to talk to Hune about something. I I think it's time for another break. We're almost near the end, so. Okay. Like, what did you want to talk about? Well, let's. I feel like. I'm sorry. Could I have a moment to talk to the investigator? Okay, sure. It seems to be doing better than before. I'm really glad. It was awful seeing someone as strong and, and abrasive as her reduced to such a wreck. And what would happen if I wasn't there for her last night? She'd be dead. I don't even want to think about it. Hey, Mute. Um, you've been in love before, right? Uh, yeah, of course. I'm still a woman. Right, right. Wait, is this about old Mute having Hyo so young be in love with her? Um, maybe a little bit. Chan tangen gently Tangently. I read that as <laughs> genital, and I was confused at first. Tangently, I suppose. Or tangentially. Well, I mean, I've been in love with men, okay? Nothing weird like that. I've never charmed any woman like that. That would be... That would make sense. I see. I'm not like that, and... I mean, it's not like old meat reciprocated either, come to think of it. I mean, how could she? Well... Oh, jeez. Does she think I'm in love with her? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I need to calm down. I sure... I'm sure she doesn't. So, um, did you ever fall... Did you ever fall in love first, or was it, um, the man who made the first move? Um, of course it's the man who makes the first move. Like, it's better that way. Even if it wasn't proper. Even if it wasn't improper, men just don't really want that anyway. That's just the thing, how things are, okay? Oh no, this isn't about the investigator, is it? You're not asking me for advice about him, are you? No, no, of course not. Jeez. Okay, just checking. Well, there was this one time where I fell in love with someone, and when I tried to tell him, well, it was unrequited, okay? What was he like? I'd, um, rather not say. How bad can it be? Worse than Old Mute's first love? Well, he didn't have any disgusting sounded, sounding habits like smoking anyway, but still. One does not prefer to acknowledge the mistakes of one's youth? Sure, I guess. I'm just babbling. Babbling doesn't help me any, I know. I just feel like thinking about old mute. I know you think she's complex, but for all her faults, she's still, she was still really cool. She fought really hard for what she believed in. She was stubborn, tough, and honest. I still resent her for failing me, and I know I... And I don't know. The mute that we know can be so ju judgmental, too. But she's admirable in a lot of ways, isn't she? Judging by how old Mute was, I know she could really be really, really great. But what do I say to her? Speak from the heart. Nothing. Speak from the heart. You're right. That's a thing to do, I just need to be honest with her. Mute, I... I just want you to know. Maybe you won't understand, but I feel... I really feel this strongly. Mute, I'm in love with you. Ugh, oh, jeez, don't mess around with me like that, okay? It's not funny, I don't have any patience for jokes. Ah, uh, jeez, after I said something that embarrassing, she doesn't even believe me. I thought if I just confessed that it would be the hard part, but... She didn't even take me seriously. What do I do? Just... Do it. Right, I just need to make sure she understands. Even though I don't really understand my feelings myself. Still... I'm in love with you, Mute. Please just don't dismiss me. I'm serious. Wait, you mean... You seriously... You feel about me like that? Yes. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm a woman, you know. I'd never even... I'd never even... I'd never even consider something like that. Oh. That's what I was afraid she'd say. I mean, it's not as if she's the type of person who'd just open up immediately to me and be able to look at a girl the way I look at her. Maybe it's just impossible. Ah, oh, jeez, I really hope I didn't scare her. What happened to you with Mr. Investigator? 
me. But I'm like, can I ask what it is you see in me? Oh my, well. Plus she's just being soon. <laughs> is this my chance? You really... Just do that. I think... I think you're really cute. Oh, that's it? <laughs> I mean, my appearance. Well, you have the same base code. Do you know how it works? This is just how the original Princess Ray looked, but 2D. Down to the outfit, even. Queen Yuna told me she looked like this when she was young, but I guess that was probably a lie, too. So, really, what you're just saying is, like, you find cute is the daughter of the woman who betrayed me. Wow. I messed up. Ah, oh, jeez, that made it worse. I didn't mean to remind her of that. No, no. I think you're cute because, um, I like the way you talk. You're really bold and honest. You th say things like, okay, a lot. That's really cute. I don't say that a lot, okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think you're being fair about your appearance, either. Look at me, I always wanted to be tall and have long legs and stylish glasses and, um, well, big boobs. <laughs> That's just how I wanted to be seen. It makes me feel like I have some sort of control. Meanwhile, you're not afraid to present yourself as a little. I know right now that isn't even your normal height. You're actually scaling yourself down to make yourself take up less space next to me. Oh jeez, you notice that? What does that even matter anyway? Well, you know, even though you say you look just like Princess Ryu did, it's not really true, is it? She had natural black hair. I, um, well, I couldn't change that. It's the default. It, it doesn't change. I'm not really hitting anything that works, am I? Jeez, why am I so useless at this? I was thought if I just had someone to confess to, it'd be perfect, but it's actually really, really hard. Wait, did she just say... Aha, I've got her. Is that what you told Queen Yuna, that you weren't able to change your gold hair to something natural? Yeah, of course. Old Mute was able to change hers to white. Ah. Well, so what? You don't have to pretend to me to understand. Well... Well... Even if you do think I'm... Tch, cute. That's not love. That's just infatuation. I, um... You're really admirable. I think you're really admirable. You always speak your own mind, even if it hurts. You take things that are important to you really seriously. You have very, 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 very... Why do I keep saying very? Really strong principles. Well, I guess when you put it that way. But not as if they added up to anything in the end. Oh no, gee, she's not getting depressed again, is she? I know you still did... You still did a lot of good. How do you think Princess Ryu would have turned out without you in her life? Ah, uh, jeez, okay, okay, not very good. I guess I can take some credit for being there for her. Right. But what's with the sudden change of heart? I thought you didn't agree with me. That you hated my principles and the principles that the new dynasty was founded on. I know I... S you know I still stand by all that, right? Just because Queen Yune lied to me doesn't just... Just because she did terrible things doesn't mean I still don't believe an emperor is tied to a stream of people becoming... Of people being in harmony. I don't like that, of course, and I'd wish you see it my way. It's not harmony, it just sucks. But that's not... That isn't what's important anymore. Now I just want to show her how the world I came from isn't, isn't as bad as it seems. That it's not barbaric. I want her to be in a world that'll let her be as brash and assertive as she needs to be. I didn't have a change of heart. Then what? I've seen what a person like you, what a person like you can become. Old Mia, I don't want to be like her. She, she was over controlling and stupid and rude and all of those things got her killed. That's not what I mean. What I mean is, um, well, you'd say you're both very, very different, right? Yes, we're nothing alike, okay? That's not true. You're alike in a lot of ways. You both always say how you feel. You both believe in protecting weaker people. You both have a really direct way of talking. You both believe in family. You both believe in love. You both believe in stability. You came from two very different times, yes, but you both believe in the same things. Yes, well, okay, but we're still, like, totally different. Maybe you had a crush on her, but that's not me, okay? Jeez, that's not what I mean. What I mean is that no matter what, even under different circumstances, you're still always good. Being good is just an intrinsic part of you. 
Even if I don't agree with a lot of things you think, I still admire you. Oh. I, um... Well, thank you, but... I'm happy to be a role model, but that isn't the same as love, okay? But... I wonder if it's anything that comes to mind. Is that really such a good idea? I should think it through. I don't... I don't know. I just stopped going behind my back. What were you going to say? I am, well... Yes? I just... What? I know things are tough for you, and I know Earth is going to be really strange and confusing. So when you're feeling sad, I want to be there with you. I want to give you reassuring hugs, and when you're feeling hopeless, I want to brush your hair and make, every, make sure you understand that everything will be fine. That's... Please, let me finish. I'm not done. Okay. I want to be there at your side. I want to be the older sister who keeps you stable when we're both scared of the world. Because there's one thing I know in my heart. I just know it for sure. No matter how scary things get, it's always better to face them with someone you, you like holding your hand. That's what I believe. Are you done? Yeah. Well, like... You, how could you possibly be the older, older sister type? I'm 3 under 12 years old. To look up to you for emotional support would be... You know I'm way older than you, right? I'm twi over twice your age. I'm 6, 40 years old, you know? You can't cut the gap like that. I'm sure I can. I was awake the whole time, all 622 years of it. Ugh, I guess you're right, but I was activated in 2390. That's vastly before your time. That doesn't count. I thought you said you weren't old mute. I'm still older is my point. That doesn't count. Jeez. Besides, I was born August 30th, 2415. Jeez, 25 years is not vastly before my time. You were asleep for all of it. You're a totally different person for all of it. Well, um... Jeez, just count it properly. I'm 640 and you're 312. I'm older. Tch, fine. I guess it's welcome change not to be the oldest woman around anyway. I, I still don't accept your feelings, though. Even if you're old enough to be a, like an older sister to me, I don't accept that you're in love with me. I'm not okay with that. Fine. I understand. Let's just get back to work, then. Okay. But, um... You know, if I have to get a body on Earth, like, maybe if you help me with that, with my hair, that, maybe that would be okay. Ah. So she really is just soon, soon. Accept it. Jeez, don't get so excited about that. Let's just get back to work, okay? Okay. Star. <laughs> I don't know what a star means. Uh, okay. And now it's back to less than upbeat music. Worthless as a wife is where we left off. I have 14 more. Finally, something by the man. Oh no, does he really think that that's awful? Dear brother, how are you? Keeping busy, I hope. You said I could always write to you, write you for advice, no matter how weird it was, so, well, I'm calling you on that. It's about my wife. This is, yeah, that is... Yep, 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 yep. I don't know what the hell is up with her, and, well, you've met her. You know how quiet she is. It's impossible to get her to actually tell me what's wrong. I'm really worried about her, and I don't know what to do. Here's some backstory. You know her. She's always been weird and introverted. It's charming most of the time. Ever since she lost her job, though, she's been dialed up to 11. I encouraged her to take up this size project of hers right after, because I figured she needed something to ease the transition, but it's been over a year now. I thought she would have found another job outside of engineering, or better yet, decide she's ready to have kids. Not just because of the motherhood credit, but given the extra hours I'm pulling to compensate, we could sure use it. I mean, it's not like... No, of course it's not healthy. I mean, it's not like I didn't know what I was getting into, marrying a girl 15 years young. <laughs> okay, that's a big gap. 15 years younger than me, but the obsession can't be healthy. What happened a couple of days ago really freaked me out, and it still does. I get home at 9 as usual, expecting to see her working on whatever it is she's, that she's working on, or watching a drama or something. Instead, she's in the kitchen on her hands and knees, scrubbing the floor violently. And I mean, our kitchen is really a mess. Everything in the apartment is a mess. I cleaned it myself if I wasn't so dead exhausted after 12-hour workdays. It looked like she had put in a serious effort to cleaning up, which seemed good, except actually looking at her, she didn't... She really didn't look okay at all. 
Oh, jeez. Then she looks up at me and suddenly starts to cry. Be honest with me. I'm worthless, aren't I? She asks me, totally out of nowhere. What the hell do you say to that? Of course not. I told her as immediately as, as, immediately as I could. If she heard me, she didn't so, show any sign of it. She kind of is, though. It's just not her fault. Oh, worthless as a wife was her, was her words, not his. I see. Yeah, I, I was like, I like that guy. What's, what happened? Uh, I know I'm worthless as an engineer or I would not have been fired. I'm worthless as a scientist or my work would receive attention from people, she whimpered. I'm worthless as a wife too, aren't I? I guess it's hard for her, even for her, to be strong for so long. Um, of course, I wish the poor woman would realize it's okay for her to be weak. You're not, sweetie, I told her. I got, I got her to get up and sit on the couch with me because discussing things with her on the floor would just be impossible. I tried doing the usual thing, where I hug her and rub her shoulders, but it didn't seem to help this time. Neither did I argue with her. Our apartment is a disaster. If I were better, it'd be clean, wouldn't it? You surely, you were surely disappointed about that, she said. You've been busy, I told her. I don't really understand why she hasn't been able to find the time, but I could hardly say yes, could I? We never eat dinner together either. We'd rarely talk. This is the most we've said together, we've said to each other all month. It's my fault, she said. Do I, do you have any idea what to say to that? I have no idea how you're supposed to reassure women when they're telling the truth like that. I mean, I knew I couldn't agree, but all I could think of to say was, no, it's not, which was pretty lame. How long, how long prior was the last time we even had sex? I'm with us that way too, she said. So she even worries about those things. Oh. Well, something's been on your mind the last few times we tried. That's okay, there's no pressure. Besides, it's not like we're newlyweds. That doesn't matter, that's no excuse, she said. Or have you just given up on me? You've given up on me, haven't you? I, I tried to say something, but she cut me off. I really am worthless, she cried. No, I'm merely wasting our time, wasting your time with whining, aren't I? You're not worthless. And you can always tell it to me, that's what I'm here for, I responded. It sounded pathetic the moment I said it. What if I start cooking dinner for you? If I'm spending all my day, all my time at home, I merely should be carrying my own weight, she said. You don't know how to cook, sweetie, and that's fine. I truly am worthless, she said loudly. I started to cry again. I was at a loss, and frankly, I'm not sure if what I said was the right thing. It sounded idiotic at the time, and it sounds that way now, even though Gondor just stopped crying. If you know what I should have said, though, I'm all ears. You can help me out if the, with the cleaning if you want, though. It would be nice. It looks like you've already done a lot of hard work, and I really appreciate that, dear. And if you want to, uh, you know... I'm not going to complain. I stumbled over my words like an idiot. An idiot whose idea of comforting his wife is telling her to clean up and have sex with him. <laughs> what the hell? Even if it did get her stop crying, I don't know. I'm bad with women, clearly. I can do that. I'd like to. It would make me feel less worthless, she said. And besides, I'm your wife. Then she wiped her tears from her eyes and gave me a really intense look. Do you want to? She asked. I'm not a young man anymore. It's not like that's really something I had in mind, especially seeing her like that, but how could I say no? She kissed me, and I got into it soon enough. Don't get me wrong. It's not as if I dislike kissing my cute 20-something wife and her soft lips. It's just... It's just the circumstances, you know? Sex is supposed to be about connecting people. But it just made me think that I don't really get her. I have no idea what has triggered this. Connecting people, is it really? I never thought of it like that. No, that's pretty weird. It's not just... It's really hard not to think about what's going on in her head while she was doing that, and hell if I know. Maybe it's not so bad, though. It felt like she had passion again, at least. I guess it's because she felt like she had to overcompensate, but she took, off, she took the lead, guiding my hand up her skirt. At the risk of being too graphic, she held my hand while I played with her, and kissed me gently. It seemed very sweet of her. After that, she went down on me. 
I didn't really think anything about it while she was doing it, for obvious reasons. But after she was done, she sat on my lap and held my wrist tightly. And it occurred to me that this was the first time she'd given head in years. <laughs> Wait, is she reenacting? Ah, jeez, so ye. Ah, she sure is. I really hope it wasn't for my sake, but I don't know. Her eyes were still watering at that point, but she also refused to let go. I don't know what the hell to make of that. It's been a couple of days and now the apartment is pretty much all clean. Oh, uh, wait, but she never mentioned that. Oh no, did that also? Ugh, that's awful. What are they talking about? She took it really seriously, I guess. I'm still really worried about her. Even after that, we haven't communicated any better. If she feels worthless, is a clean apartment really going to make her feel like she has value again? I mean, I know she does. I just don't know how to convince her of it. Be a start, you idiot. On the other hand, I just realized one thing right now I didn't say to her. And I should go do that. So never mind, I guess. I don't need to send this letter after all, which is good. Because it'd make the next family gathering weird if talking to my wife just made you think of your old brother's manhood. Of course, you idiot husband. That would be gross, I mean. I sure don't want to think about yours either. Anyway, now I'm going to go tell her what she really needs to hear. That she should keep on doing her science thing. Whatever the hell it is. That's probably the thing that'll make her feel like she's not worthless. But she believes it's important. Uh, no, don't encourage that. You're going to make a retreat in, even further. Do you really think that's the case? She believes it's important. That that's what she should dedicate herself to doing. That's less awkward and weird than household cleaning and sex. At least. I'll tell her that I'll keep supporting her in her struggle with that. I think that's what she was looking for this whole time. I'm glad I realized that. Love, even though I'm not sending this name on. Is he? So he's like 40. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go, I think. Because I don't think... It I don't have time to read another one. Let's we'll see. Oh, I can extract some more, I guess. Can I do that? No, oh, oops, I'm sorry. I gotta disable you guys first. And then extract new messages. Okay. You. 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 Oh, there's something from Mimi. And something called Suicide Note, which is worrying. And you. I will be his bride. Okay. Oh, someone smile. Oh, I can't. Wait. Remove that. Can I get it? Oh, no. Never mind. Okay. Suicide note. Please talk to me. Mimi was the dude with... I forgot his name, but he was in the O family. I, no, he was in the security family. Yeah. I don't remember the security's family name, and I should know that. But, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it here and record something else, maybe? I don't know. Or I might go eat dinner. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.